Hello everyone, welcome back to Vivacious Vani. I hope you all are staying healthy and safe at home. So there's a lot of negativity right now which is surrounding us. So take some time out for yourself and do enjoy what you like. So celebrate creativity. So I'm back with another DIY project. Today we will be upcycling a metal trunk. Trust me, they are not out of fashion, they are back in fashion. Recently, I was surfing through a lot of internet sites, uh, furniture portals, where I could see that all the metal trunks and the wooden trunks and uh, some leather trunks are back in fashion as a decor piece, as a centerpiece, a coffee table. And uh, I did not have any old trunks at home, uh, but I wanted to have one. So I recently bought them from the local market. So let's see how we can do the first look is our traditional look. I'm taking a big size trunk here which I've already spray painted it pink. I'm using a few supplies which are colors, a masking tape or a scotch tape, a brush and few stencils. The bigger stencil is a Rangoli stencils which I bought last year in Diwali. So I'm just securing it and started painting it. I have a lot of art and craft supplies and I always wanted to keep them segregated and organized yet wanted them to be handy as well. So I bought these three trunks from local market few months back and I spray painted them white and pink. Today we will be hand painting them using different stencils and decoupage method. actually keep different stuff in these trunks example if you have extra home furnishing which you want it to be really handy you can keep in this trunk or you wanted to keep some old or donation stuff aside you can just keep filling the trunk with that also you can keep some extra groceries as we are storing nowadays to avoid going out frequently can be always used to keep kids stuff like books, toys, etc. And here is the final look of the trunk. I've kept it really simple and basic. If you want, you can use different shades of colors and even you can give pink shade in the white design I've created. So the second one is our modern look. For this thing, I have taken a medium sized trunk. I'm using a teal color also mixing it with white to give it a lighter shade and a different kind of stencil I'm gonna use a corner stencil I'll be making uh, two different opposite corners on the trunk top and in the front part of the trunk I'll be uh, also using some different stencil to enhance the look also the hooks I'll be painting it with basic teal color you need to be a little patient if you are using a detailed design in your stencil because it takes time and uh, but it comes out really beautiful and here is the final look of the trunk I really like this one how it turned out and the third and last one is our vintage look trunk for this I'm taking a very smaller size trunk and this decoupage paper a few colors which are required and matching to the print of the paper and some stencils the first step here is I am applying water on all the edges of the paper we want to tear the edges of the paper very uneven for the decoupage process so that's easy to start and it's not seen later and this paper is little thick so I have applied water on it so that it gets nicely stuck. I've applied Mod Podge here and pasting it. Now I'll be taking some colors to mix and match and make a proper shade which is there in the decoupage paper. And some stenciling to enhance the look. You can skip this step as well. To 
give it a vintage and a low look I'm using a sponge and black color and just dabbing it all over the edges and uh, the page border and everywhere to just give it an old look and here it's ready so let's see how actually we can use these trunks at our home and decorate them so the first setting is setting up a corner I did this and it really turned out well I just stacked them on each other and a few fairy lights and one or two few different things and it's looking really nice the second one is you can use it as a bedside table as well uh, because it's strong and you can wipe it off easily it can be really useful because it has storage as well the third is the reading corner I've used the smallest trunk which we gave a vintage look here and setting up a reading corner where you can sip your hot coffee or tea nicely and you can decorate it with few things not a lot of things but yes it gives a different and nice look the fourth is you can keep the trunks beneath any furniture whether it's a dining table a bed or maybe a sofa I'm using a dressing here uh, I've just kept it here you can it doesn't look bad it looks good here creating a sitting in your kids room is also a great idea for this especially if your trunk is little bigger than this you can put some floor pillows on the trunk and your uh, kids sitting area can be created in a very nice manner the last setting I have done is using it outdoors in my balcony and it really looked nice and we really enjoyed our morning tea here uh, you can enjoy your evenings your mornings and to keep you can use it as a tabletop and it looks beautiful thanks for watching the video and if you like it please Subscribe my channel and do share it with your friends and family. Uh, stay tuned for the next week video. It is on Rakhi, the coming festival. And I hope you all like this video. And take care. Bye-bye. Signing off, Vani.